everybody and welcome. My name is Brooke and you are at the Pink Frog. Today I wanted to bring you guys up with a little update on some of the sewing that I've been doing and a little bit about what the craziness is going on out here, just kind of address it. I am still down here in beautiful sunny Florida with my family. I'm going to be staying down here helping my family out. They're in their 80s and they have health issues. I have health issues. Who doesn't have health issues? Um, but I'm staying down here and we are all in lockdown together and holding down the fort. I had originally had plans to go back to Chicago when the day before like the real official lockdown, not lockdown, but the real official like, oh God, you know, this is serious, came down. I went to my parents and we all kind of said, you know, I think I want to stay here. And then we want you to stay. We think it's the smart thing to do. So um, I did, and I am, and I am helping my folks out. My folks are helping me out. We are in this together. My whole family is down here, um, which I'm very blessed to have. So I'm living with them and staying with them, and, you know, we are so blessed to have each other, and I'm probably driving them absolutely insane, I'm sure. I turned quite, in, quite into the compulsive cleaning person. I don't know about anybody else out there, but poor family I feel so bad for them like I don't let them touch a doorknob without like sanitizing with soap and water every morning I get up oh it's it's so it's crazy crazy but it's the good fight the good fight um we can do it we can we will beat this virus I pray to God everybody out there is safe and healthy and happy and everybody is doing their part um you know, I know that we have to be apart from each other. Everybody's supposed to be social distance, distancing and locking down. But thank God, it was like the internet was meant for this. Um, and we all have to help each other, dog walking, helping our neighbor, checking in on shut-ins, calling people on the phone, and just making sure they're okay. Anyway, I want to get on with this um, and show you guys uh, some normal things that I've been you know, trying to get finished and done with because I really haven't been doing anything, I mean, not normally myself. So I wanted to show you guys uh, the butcher dress that I finally finished that I was swimming in. And I've got like a, a tank top underneath this. The dress I think turned out, oh, I love the dress. I would make 50 of these if I had the fabric to do so, but I know that when I'm done with this, I'm gonna order some fabric online and make some masks. That's something that I really wanna do, um, which is another thing that people are doing on the internet. But I wanted to finish this and I did, and I put pockets on it, which I really like. And um, my dad, I showed it to my dad and he said, you know, maybe you should put some hearts on the pocket or some rickrack. So that's a thought too. But I really like the way it turned out. The back is still kind of big. This is still, I mean, I could like stick my whole everything in here. There's a lot of room still here. Um, and like I said, I'm built like a little boy. Uh, there was like a lot of room still in here, but I did fix what I could. I think it looks okay. Um, I think it looks more than okay. I should give myself a little more credit than that. I really like it with the pockets. This doesn't have pockets on it. So I like adding my own little touch. I was thinking like Rick Rack around it would be really great. The dress is super comfortable. Um, I the, I made it tighter than it was because it was really loosey-goosey in the back. And then I made it too tight, but um, it turned out really well. So I'm really happy with that. And then I'm gonna bring you another video today um, of the vintage bathing suit that I made back in like a year ago and I did a tutorial on it. Um, it's a vintage bathing suit. I got a cute little hat, uh, bathing suit cap to go with it, and I thought I'd do something fun with showing you guys because you guys never saw the uh, finished product. And then I've got some vintage things, some vintage finds that I had before all this started going, all this craziness started happening that I wanted to share with you guys. Just trying to do some things that are normal. Um, 
it's been really strange not being able to talk to anybody really. I uh, talked to my ex-husband. He's up in Chicago right now, taking holding down the fort of our house together, and uh, he's you know he's an amazing person. I'm so blessed to have him. But enough of that, you guys. I want to say thank you so much for tuning in and watching. I pray to God everybody is safe, well, checking in on each other, saying hello to your neighbors on the phone, just doing a wellness check. Even, you know, talking, there's a lot of people out there that are elderly that don't have anybody to talk to, and that might be something that you want to check into. Making masks is another way of contributing, helping. Um, there's thousands of ways to help us all fight the good fight through this together. It's in the picture. We can do this. And we can. We can beat this coronavirus. We can punch it in the face, grab your bottles of, of Lysol and soap and water and just clean and crush and disintegrate the virus. I pray to God and uh, I'm with my higher power. I don't know if you guys believe in that sort of thing, but I sure do. Whether you believe in the spirituality of mankind or the big guy up there in the sky or big woman or whomever you believe in. But um, it really does help you through, and we need prayers right now. And masks. And uh, so I just wanted to say thank you to everybody for tuning in, for watching. I pray to God willpower. It'll take a lot of strength, but we can fight this virus, and we can send it back to hell where it came from. I'll have them coming up, some things that I'm going to share with you guys. Okay, I just want to say thank you, God bless, and I'll talk to you guys real soon. Fight the good fight.